But still, that's you know a lot of money per each meter drilled. So you want to get the most bang for your buck. So you drill. Talking gold today with Peter Gold and Joe. Great to have you here. How is it going with the preparation for the drilling season 23? Ah, all's going well. Good to be here again, uh, Arne. Good to see you. Um, we've mobilized in. We mobilized in a couple weeks ago up to our BAM project. Uh, had some snow uh, a few days ago, so the guys were shoveling more. But uh, all well. Uh, we're prospecting, mapping, sampling. Drill is lined up to show up on Monday, so uh, we'll be flying the drill in Monday. All goes well. We're drilling on Tuesday, potentially Wednesday, but very soon. So we're really looking forward to it. Okay. And um, for those uh, not so familiar with early exploration, you talked about mapping and sampling. Um, I would um, probably guess you already have a plan beforehand where you want to drill. Is that then just kind of tweaking it on the ground to see, okay, um, maybe some changes on the drill location or uh, how, how does that normally work? A, a couple things there. First off, one of our targets is in an area that we haven't done a lot of surface work on, but it came up through our geophysics. So we got the crews on early and they're walking the ground. And, and trying to truth, ground truth what we're seeing with the geophysics and it's really lining up well. So we're really pleased about that. So we're seeing, you know, copper occurrences on surface. What it does is it gives us a nice correlation. What we're seeing on the ground lines up well with what the geophysics told us uh, over the winter. From that perspective, it's, it's just part of, you know, exploration. A and then as well, we are in our other drill sites. They were spotted based on geophysics and our prior mapping and that. So the crews are in, walking the ground, where's the best to put up, set up the drill pad so that, you know, there's a trade-off. Uh, you know, is it better to have the drill pad here, a little easier construction than, you know, 50 feet away. And so it's just that final placement. So um, that's all done and drill pads are going in. We've got a couple in already. Uh, and so, yeah, just waiting for the drill, start drilling. Okay, um, in, I've read about the recent fires in Canada. Does that affect British Columbia at all? Yeah, BC this year, British Columbia, we are, haven't been hit by the fires yet. It was a fairly wet spring up until about three weeks, yeah, three weeks to a month ago. Now we've had a nice spell of sunny weather down in the lower part of the province. Uh, up in the Golden Triangle, as I said, uh, well, it's sunny now. We got about a week of sun coming before more rain, but we had snow uh, through last week a number of days. So, yeah, there's there's not much catching on fire up in the Golden Triangle right now. I have a quick follow-up question regarding drilling, Joe. So often we hear the CEOs of these mining companies talk about phase one or phase two of their drilling exploration uh, um, program. Is that also the case for P2 Gold? And perhaps you can explain what actually these phases normally mean for a company. For us and, and for a lot of companies is what, what we'll do is we'll go in, we'll drill some holes. You wanna then see what those results are. Cause oftentimes, even though you're, you're, you know, the geologists are looking at the drill core that's coming out of the ground, it's like a pipe of rock, and they're looking at it and that, they oftentimes, you, you won't detect a significant amount of gold visibly. And so you need to send it into the lab to get assays. So rather than drilling a whole bunch of holes before you know what's there, uh, one of the ways you go in is you do a first phase of drilling, hit your best targets, that's what we plan to do. Uh, we'll get some quick assaying best we can on, on certain area aspects of the holes where we think there's good mineralization. Depending on those results, we'll then go ahead with a phase two uh, drill program where we're following up on those phase one results. But you know, you wanna, drilling's expensive up in, in anywhere, but in the Golden Triangle, we're paying about 500 Canadian dollars per meter drilled and that includes assaying, geologist work, and things like that. But still, that's you know a lot of money per each meter drilled. So you wanna get the most bang for your buck. So you drill first phase, get some results, and then go back in and follow up based on your best results. 